Hi guys, it's Kira from Plaid and welcome back to our new product showcase for 2021. We are so excited to be here this week. We kicked off yesterday with Mod Podge resin and we had two great almost hours of Jesse and I showing you all about our brand new Mod Podge resin. Today, John and Emma started out the morning at 11 with talking all about Mod Podge photo transfer. And this afternoon, we're gonna finish the day out with some more Mod Podge. We've got three great new formulas that we're really excited about. They're really fun. We kinda, it's just a totally different thing um, that we're gonna be talking about from this morning. So it'll be really exciting to get into these formulas. We have got Glow in the Dark, Black Light, and Wash Out for Kids. So we're gonna show you some project examples and Emma is actually, Emma, Lula, Tongue tied. <laughs> Emma is actually going to craft with our kids washout formula under Mod Podge's brand name. So again, really excited. Thanks for joining us. If you're just tuning in or if you were able to um, watch our videos yesterday and this morning, again, we will be here all week, twice a day at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern. And we've got the whole team sharing all this new product and new inspiration for you. Um, again, we couldn't be more excited this year to you know, inspire you to craft. We know that everybody's love and passion for crafting um, is still just growing and you guys are so sweet and um, we love to hear from you and see all your comments, whether it's on Facebook or any of our lives um, on Instagram. We do really fun Fridays. Um, getting to share all your projects. So we are just as inspired by you as we wanna inspire you guys. Um, you will be able to get all the information about this product and all our other new product on platonline.com slash new. So we've created a great landing page that has all the new product. And of course our Mod Podge, or of course our platonline.com um, webpage has all the information about all our great products. Um, I have the iPad here. I'm going to be answering questions live. So if you have any questions or comments while Eben and I are live with you this afternoon, please let me know and I'll try to answer them for you. And Tamara is also going to be posting links and chatting with you so she can always answer questions um, while we're live or after the fact also. So I think that's all the all the good information I have to share with everybody, but definitely go to platonline.com slash new and check out all this amazing product. Um, so I want to get into some of the inspiration and projects with the new product. So we have black light and you guys, I have this giant black trusty box here. We're like, how are we going to show this awesome, these awesome new formulas when we have all this lighting in the studio? So we've got this black box and we've got some lights in it. So I'm hoping this is coming across, but it is really cool. Um, black light is a trend that we've been seeing. You know, there's black light parties, black light birthdays. It's great for decor. It's really fun for seasonal, like holidays, Halloween. Um, there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this. So we've made some projects here with the black light. As you can see, we made a Jenga game. So this would be really fun. You could paint a game piece and say you're, you know, playing outdoors in the summer or like a screened in porch or a basement. This would be really fun to um, just add a little fun to your party. And, you know, when you're playing games, especially with the kids. We also did these plant pots. So you can see here, all we did was we used our Mod Podge black light. We Mod Podged paper. We cut out this really fun, funky pattern and we Mod Podged it using the Mod Podge black light right onto the pot and then it glows right in black light. So really fun. And there's some other things you can also do. Um, this phone, this is a phone case. So you can Mod Podge right onto a phone case. This was just a basic phone case. Uh, we cut out the words love and then use the black light on it. So I hope you can see, but then that's fun too. That glows. So you kind of always have like a little pop of glow on your phone. Again, like I said, it's great for seasonal. So you can use it on pumpkins, on rocks. Um, we've got some mason jars in there. So black light is really fun. We have got a black light flashlight here to also help. So I'm hoping this is all reading really well. Can you guys see that? So really fun. Again, we wanted to make sure that you could see how special this product was. So that is our black light. And then we also have, and I wanna make sure I'm answering questions now that we've started live. So let me just refresh on here. Okay, no questions. Everybody loves the black light. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the glow in the dark. So again, it comes in a four ounce bottle. So we've got our black light and glow. 
and black light, you charge under light. So whether it's the sun or, you know, a lamp, and then you paint this on. It's a Mod Podge, you can use it. It is a multi-purpose um, glue and sealer also, and this will glow in the dark. So again, this is really fun for seasonal projects. Whether you have kids, this is all really family friendly things to do. Um, especially now you're looking for fun things to do indoors or, you know, safely, ha you know, have just like fun parties and these like little mini celebrations that everybody's having. Like this is a really fun special thing to do. So this is glow in the dark. Again, you can see um, some of the projects we've done with it. For example, we've done a lampshade. So I love this. All it was was a basic lampshade. We've painted rainbows on it, cut out stars, and then added the glow in the dark. And I'm gonna use this little flashlight again, just because it'll kind of give you the illusion of what it would look like when it glows in the dark. And again, because we're in the studio, we couldn't shut the lights off, but we wanted to show you guys exactly how this works. So great for decor, great for lampshades if you're decorating a kid's room or guest room. Like it just adds that little pop of fun and color. We also have a canvas that we did here. It kind of goes with that theme of stars. But as you can see, what we did was we took a canvas and we Mod Podged paper onto it. Then we cut out shapes, stars. We put the Mod Podge glow in the dark on that and then also just did some fun swirls and dots. So, you know, you could do a whole gallery wall. You could take even some existing artwork that you have or pictures and add the black light or glow to it and do it as accents for your room. That would be like a really fun thing to do if you had a gallery wall. And just add a little few accents of the black light and glow and really watch it, you know, it'll pop in your room when you turn the lights off. So those are two formulas that um, we have that are new. We also have a kids washout formula. So Emma is gonna be crafting with this in a minute. Um, so it is a gloss finish. It is under, again, the iconic brand name Mod Podge. So many fun formulas, like you name it, we have you covered with Mod Podge. And um, this is washout for kids. And this actually comes in two different size containers. So we've got this great eight ounce wide mouth jar. So you just open the top, the kids can dip their brush right in it really easy to use. And then Emma has the brand new flip top, which she's gonna be using in a second. She's gonna demo. So just another great option, especially crafting with kids. And you know, kids have been inside for a long time and you're looking for new inspiration, whether it's your kids or your grandkids or nieces or nephews or you're a teacher. These are great products to have on hand and it's really fun for family crafting. The project that Emma is going to do is actually something that if you don't have kids, that it is a really great product just to have like in your craft supply arsenal, right? Like she's gonna show you how to use this as a resist with our folk art paint or apple barrel paints. It is a great way to craft because it does wash out and she's gonna show you a really awesome project you can make with this. So again, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in our chat below, either Tamara or I will answer them. I'll take a look at them while Emma starts crafting. Also go to platonline.com slash new to check out all these new products. You can purchase them there right on platonline.com. So Emma, you wanna take it away and start crafting and I'll, um, I'll let you know if we have any questions. Absolutely, thanks Kira. Awesome. So just like Kira said, um, I'm gonna be showcasing how to do a really neat project using Mod Podge Washout for Kids as a dye resist. So this past summer, um, the tie-dye trend has been huge. You could totally do this project using one of our paints as a tie-dye, but I'm gonna show you how to use our paints, um, just brushing it on right over the Mod Podge uh, Washout for Kids to make a really neat dye resist project. So, um, and here's what it looks like in the end. It's super cute. Adorable. Okay, so you could do this, of course, on any fabric. Um, you could do it on a tote bag, a pillow, a t-shirt. Those would all be really great ideas to do for this project. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So all I have here is just this plain tote bag. I just went ahead and ironed it just so uh, my surface is flat and level and it's really great for crafting on, okay? And I just have a little piece of poster board just to slip in between my tote bag just to make it cleaner so that no paint comes through and no Mod Podge comes through. So let's go, oops, so let's go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. 
And like Kira said, um, Mod Podge Washout for Kids is great for teachers that are working in a classroom because just like in the name, it washes out of your clothes. So, you know, our original Mod Podge formulas are made to be really tough and sturdy and to hold all your decoupage projects together. And this is also really sturdy when you're using it as Mod Podge, but then when you put it in your washing machine, it totally comes out of all your clothes. So this is a great project for all of your younger crafters at home. And so Emma, Summa has a great question. Okay. Do you have to wash the fabric first to remove the sizing? Um, you definitely could, that's a great idea. Um, we've done this project with and without and we found that they both work great, but that's a great thing to do if you want to, of course. Mm -hmm. Typically that is what you do when you're working with a fabric paint to yeah. get the sizing out, but these tote bags we just picked up at our local craft store and they seem to work completely fine without pre-washing them with the Mod Podge washout formula. Absolutely. Okay, and so another thing to note, I just made this little template right here, and you could stick this um, in a t-shirt or inside your pillowcase, just so you can kind of see what's going on if you want to, or of course, like I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna go right above it and I'm gonna freehand this pattern. But I just made this with a marker on just a sheet of poster board, so that it's a great little um, tool to look at as I'm crafting. Okay, so I'm gonna take my small flat Mod Podge brush, and I have my poster board in there. One thing I do wanna do um, is I just wanna take a piece of stencil tape and I just wanna border my tote bag so that I get these really clean lines like you see here. See, it kinda gives you that um, vintage retro look, which I love. Yeah, these colors are great. And this pattern, um, also we'll have all these projects up on platonline.com. So this pattern will be available. You can print and download it if you want to do this exact bag that Emma's doing. Absolutely. Oh, hi, Paula. We're saying hi. Hi, Catherine, everybody. It's funny, we get to know all the people on our lives and our classes. So hi, guys. Hey, Thanks everybody. for joining us again. We hope you're going to be here all week. All right, so Emma is taping this off to get started. Again, you guys, we just went over. We're talking about our brand new Mod Podge formulas. So we have Mod Podge Glow in the Dark, Mod Podge Black Light, and again, two really fun formulas, as you can see in my box here, my display box. I feel like Vanna over here with the box. <laughs> so you can see we've got some really fun formulas that whether you're using with black light or glow in the dark just for seasonal or home decor, um, it's great for games, great for families, a lot of fun things you can do with that. And then Emma is crafting with our kids washout formula, which is just like it says, it washes out. So whether you have kids and you're looking for a formula that they can craft with and wash out, or you're looking for a great resist to use um, on some of your other crafting more adult projects. Yeah, absolutely. And so we're kind of using the tape as a resist, but what makes the Mod Podge Washout for Kids so great as a resist is that we can get all the curved lines, all the thin lines without having to actually cut tape, which would be such a hassle. So this makes it so easy for all of your resist projects. Okay, so we're just gonna apply some of the Mod Podge to our brush and we're just gonna go straight onto the bag. And this is clear, it's like a creamy white, like our Mod Podge, so it may be a little bit harder to see, but you just um, paint it on just like you would a regular Mod Podge or paint. Absolutely. And um, in your finished projects, it does dry to have a gloss finish. Okay, and you just apply it like you would regular Mod Podge. It's just like painting with some acrylic paint or, of course, Mod Podge, but it's really, really easy to work with and really smooth. It's great for kids and people of all ages. Yeah, I love that it is so versatile. Oh, you can see it really well on the overhead, Emma. Oh, good. I was worried you wouldn't be able to, so I love that you can see that so well. Awesome. And you just kind of want to work it in there because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the Mod Podge in all of the different fibers of the fabric so that it really blocks that paint from seeping into the fabric. Yep, that's great. Yeah, so Emma is just using a great pattern. Again, we'll put this up so it's available on platonline.com. Um, all these projects that we're doing, so there's a lot of great inspiration. You definitely want to check that out. See if there's any questions. Okay. Yeah, so while you're painting, Emma, does anybody have questions? I want to show you guys again, like how well this stuff glows. If we want to zoom in here, I can show you guys. So I've got this, I've got all these contraptions. I've got this flashlight, <laughs> but again, it's great for games, it's great on mason jars. 
you can see there that would be great for like if you have a sun porch or like a little patio it would be really cute to line your window seals with it's a great addition to your decor and this it. clock is so awesome i love this for glow in the dark because it'll charge at night before you go to bed and then especially like for kids or if you just want you know a little bit of glow and you don't have to worry about keeping it plugged in or charged it's just going to charge naturally in the sunlight or your um like a light bulb light so in your room so once it charges it will glow and then black light again is fun so you know if parties aren't your thing right now <laughs> um it's just a great fun thing that you can do you could even have like a fun zoom black light party or you know people are having these little mini personal celebrations this is like a really fun thing to do and again it's great for seasonal you know especially for pumpkins and things like that okay Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so um, we just started applying our Mod Podge washout for kids on here as I resist. And now I'm going to move over to the next step out and show you guys the next step. So once I went ahead and painted with my Mod Podge washout for kids all along my tote bag, I would let that dry for 20 to 30 minutes. You don't have to wait a long time, not overnight or anything. And then you can go ahead and start painting over it. And like you can see in the final one, it just gives you these really, really clean lines that we've already established with the um, with the Mod Podge, okay? So we have some questions okay. while you're switching. So um, could you pre-draw with a washable fabric pencil then Mod Podge over it? Yes, that is a great idea. You could use pencil or a fabric pencil and draw your pattern and then use the uh, Mod Podge Kids washout over top of it and then it would all go away when you wash it. So that's a great idea. I love that. And then somebody else asked, can you tint the kids washout with a washable paint like a kid's watercolor to see it better while painting? And you could absolutely done that. We've done that before. You could use a washable paint if you wanna have a little bit of tint to it only to see what you're working with if you're using like a bright white fabric. But again, you guys could see on camera me you could see on camera that the kids washout worked really well on the tote bag you could see the the difference between the natural and the white but if you needed a little bit of help you could actually absolutely tint this as long as it's something that will wash out in the wash I wouldn't recommend using like the multi-surface or the fabric medium to tint it unless you want it to be permanent like Emma said yeah, absolutely. So like we said in the beginning, and Kira just kind of reiterated, um, what we would recommend to paint over your Mod Podge washout for kids is one of our multi-surface acrylic paint formulas or one of our regular acrylic paint formulas mixed with our um, folk art textile <coughs> medium. So I have here some um, Apple Barrel multi-surface paint, and I'm just going to apply that to my palette. You're fine, I'm Kira. Alive. You got a tickle in your throat. I'm alive. I'm like <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Pam has a question if the glow in the dark works on paper. Absolutely. Any of these Mod Podge formulas work great on paper, like our traditional Mod Podge formulas. You can use it as a decoupage formula to go right directly on your surface. So, on this pot, all we did was we used either the glow or the black white light and we Mod Podge directly onto the pot. So yes, that's a great question. It works paper to paper, paper to surface. Yeah, great questions. And I just wanted to show off to right here some of these really great um, kids uh, wash out, Mod Podge wash out for kids projects we have. And they really show off that glossy finish. This is a cute little village that we did. Um, really great for open play for kids. This really cute uh, mommy and me frame. And it's just so great for kids. They can cut up all these pieces themselves with some uh, safety scissors, of course, and then use the Mod Podge wash out for kids. And it just gives you a really fun, no mess crafting day. It's great for recycling too, that whole trash to treasure using what you have. Like this is a great way to get this product out, let the kids get into it, give them scraps of paper. You know, a lot of these projects we've even used um, old cereal boxes, old shoe boxes, so they can do a lot of these fun projects um, with things that you already have around the house and Mod Podge and um, a little bit of paint. And Emma has um, done a lot of these projects for us actually, and they're all on platonline.com, so you can check these out under um, Mod Podge Kids Washout. Yeah, great. All right, so for the next part of this project, we already have our dried Mod Podge washout for kids, and so we're now, now we're ready to paint on top of it. And um, we don't even have to really worry about avoiding these 
lines that we made with the Mod Podge because we can just go right over them um, and we have that barrier there to protect our tote bag and so when we wash it out, it's gonna wash out the paint that's resting above it. And that's why we tried really hard to just really get into those grooves. Not a big deal, um, but that really acted as our barrier. And somebody has a question, Emma, um, is it waterproof? Can it be used outside? So these formulas are indoor only. So you can put a seal of, um, you could use Mod Podge Ultra or Mod Podge Outdoor if you wanted to put an extra layer of protection so you could use these projects outside. But just right out of the bottle, they're gonna be for indoor use only. But that's a great question. Great. Okay, so you are painting on the canvas bag. Yes, I'm painting on the canvas bag. I'm not being super mindful about where my uh, Mod Podge lines are because it's okay if we get a little messy, it's okay if we get over them. And especially once the paint is over at Kira, I can really see the difference in texture of where there's Mod Podge and where there's not Mod Podge. It's really easy to do. Okay, and so I just kind of want to layer my paint just so I get a cool pattern. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Kathy said, everybody should have Mod Podge as a staple in the house. It's awesome. I agree. It's like milk, bread, yeah. Mod Podge. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. So Emma's painting, and you are using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface. Yes, I'm using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface. Mm -hmm. So like we mentioned, painting on fabric, we've got a number of great formulas. Multi-Surface is great. You can also use our Folk Art Fabric Medium mixed with our other acrylic paints. That's a great option. So it's not going to be crunchy. It's going to be soft. You're going to be able to wash it. And we also make Fabric Creations, which is a fabric paint. It's a super soft ink, actually. So a lot of great options for painting on fabric, whether it's a tote bag, a pair of shoes, it's a shirt, um, a pillow, and even a lampshade, it's sometimes great to use. Um, we use multi-surface or fabric paint a lot of times on that. Absolutely. So this would be great, any of these for Halloween also, right? So you could add the um, black light, the glow, and the kids washout would all be great for Halloween costumes, um, your Halloween decor. Like I said, it's just got a lot of great, it's so versatile, which you wouldn't think, but when you start like looking at all the projects we've made, we're like, oh, that's really cute. And I love the idea of the phone or the canvas. Um, we've even done some rocks. So painting on rocks are still really popular. So we've done some mandalas, um, like little patterns with paint. And then all we did was take the glow in the dark or you could use the black light and put it over the paint. And then these are gonna glow, which is really fun to do. So you could stick these in your plants. Um, again, just a great um, use for this product. Absolutely. And like we were kind of talking about before, Kira, tie-dye has been such a huge trend this summer, um, and we're seeing it as a trend again this year. It'd be so cute to uh, apply your resist with your uh, Mod Podge washout for kids, and then um, follow one of our tie-dye tutorials on platonline.com. We have great, uh, we have a lot of great tie-dye uh, project ideas and information, and this would be a great little uh, contributor to those crafts. I know tie dye didn't really go away this like fall and winter, but I bet it's going to be like hotter than ever in spring. So we'll definitely be doing more of those projects, and this is a so great too. product to use with that. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this arch, you guys, and eventually we just go over over our whole bag, just making sure we're getting getting into all of the fibers of our tote bag. Looks great. Those colors are really pretty. Yeah, aren't they? And rainbows are still trending so huge, so I love this pattern. And again, it's going to be available on platonline.com. Jessie says she has an entire craft drawer of Mod Podge, and her kids have a shoebox full. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I hope you have Mod Podge washout for kids in that shoebox. I know. You're going to need two drawers. Yes. After, after this week, you're going to need the closet. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, Kira, and so what I would do now, like I said, I would just go over my whole entire tote bag. I would let this rest, and then I would heat set it just so that the paint um, is really on there onto our fabric. And then I would, could go ahead and wash it in my washing machine and then dry it in my dryer, and I would be left with something as beautiful as this. How adorable. All righty. 
Oh, can we see that again, Emma? Yeah, that was quick. of course. Everybody wants to see. It looks yeah. so pretty and bright. <laughs> and again, that's been washed, which is amazing. So yes. how vibrant those colors are using Apple Barrel Multi-Surface and the Mod Podge Kids Wash Out. You guys will seriously be amazed when you take your finished project out of your washing machine and see how clean those lines are. I mean, the first time I took this, um, when I was done with this project and I took it out of my washing machine and out of my dryer, I was mind blown. Yeah, it looks awesome. And again, um, it's great for tote bags, for t-shirts, for shoes, like mm -hmm. just a lot of fun things you can do, especially going into spring and summer. So. Lots of fun things, whether you've got the kiddos and you want some family-friendly crafts, or like you said, you could do some beautiful different things with this. Great for personalization. You could use a stencil and you could do monograms or personalized letters or names. Um, you could like spell out the word, for example, we use a lot like create or love you know, do something fun and then paint over it and then whitewash it and it would be resisted on it. A beautiful project and a great idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, does anybody else have questions? Rainbows are everything. <laughs> <laughs> they are. All right. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us for day two of our Plaid's new product showcase for 2021. Again, we will be here the rest of the week at 11 and 3. We've got the rest of the team here. We've got um, Jesse will be back. We've got Kirsten. We've got Andy Jones and Donna Dewberry. John will be back hosting. I'll be doing some Bucilla. We've got a lot. So... Thank you guys so much for joining us. You want to go to platonline.com slash new to check out all this new product. And you guys have a great rest of the day and we will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.